A court filing by a Trump co-defendant in the Georgia election case alleges Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis hired an attorney while being in a romantic relationship with that attorney. Michael Roman says Willis paid private attorney Nathan Wade $650,000 in taxpayer funds for work he did while prosecuting a case involving former President Donald Trump in Georgia. Speaking in Atlanta on Sunday, Willis did not address Wade by name, but referred to his, quote, impeccable credentials. Joining us now for more is CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman. Always uh, so good to see you, Ricky. When we talk about these accusations, uh, can you talk about how serious they are? And they could have some real ramifications here. They are serious, and yes, they can have real ramifications, including the possible replacement of the entire prosecutorial team, which means Fannie Willis's district attorney's office, to have another prosecutor from another place uh, ultimately prosecute this case, or even the level of dismissal, which is what defendant Mike Roman is asking. This is no laughing matter. Um, so, you know, you heard what Fonnie Wills had to say, that he has impeccable credentials. And she basically said on Sunday, look, I hired three attorneys. They all have great credentials. They're all friends of mine. I think highly of them. I don't know why you're targeting this one guy. I mean, does he have the professional background that would qualify him for this? And for a case like this, a RICO case? And if he does, then so what? Then what's the big deal? Well, there's a very big deal. Um, and it, it, it's whether or not he has the particular credentials to prosecute a case or administrate a case, which is apparently most of the work that he has been doing behind the scenes in an administrative capacity. He does not have RICO experience. Mm. This is a very complex RICO case. But that may be irrelevant if one of the other prosecutors has RICO experience. The big deal here are two things. You can have three special prosecutors. They can all have impeccable credentials, or they can have good enough credentials. We are looking at two issues here. Number one, was there an improper relationship between these two people? That is, were they having a love affair before he was hired, or even after he was hired, and that relationship was not disclosed, which it should have been, if in fact there is a relationship. And secondly, and perhaps far more important, it's really the question about the money. If in fact, Fonnie Willis is paying her lover, if he is her lover, mm -hmm. a, a fee, which is quite substantial. I mean, $650,000 to his law firm over a two-year period is not a small amount of money. But are they both benefiting from that money? Mike Roman alleges that they went on trips that were ultimately paid for by the money, not that it's exactly the same dollar, mm -hmm. but by the money that Nathan Wade had made by while working for Fonnie Willis. That could be considered fraud. Not only might it be considered fraud or what we call honest services fraud, if this also involved the fact that there were federal funds going into that district attorney's office, which certainly could be the truth if it could be proven, then you're also dealing with the fact of a federal crime. So you might have a crime here in terms of the money. You might simply have, which is not so simple, a conflict of vision, a conflict of interest based on non-disclosure. If you look at it this way, Nancy and Anne Marie, mm -hmm. if you had a female CEO of a public company and she decided to hire her lover and make him her number two, and that they were both traveling together and having a relationship on her money and his money. Don't you think that CEO would be gone in a nanosecond? Mm. Now, while saying all of this, these are mere allegations, and you may note, many of the more well-known and higher-up defendants in this case have not yet signed on to this motion. So the lawyer filing this motion better have the goods huh. if you dare to file it. Yeah, yeah, we should say there was no proof, I think, in the filing. I don't know if we said that initially, but he didn't pro provide there any proof. There, 
there, at this point, there is no proof. And what we do need to see is the judge is going to have a hearing on this case. It seems in early February. Mm -hmm. And then the judge is going to decide whether or not it is proved up. You have to look at the other part of it. There is a contentious divorce here that Nathan Wade is going through. There may be documents from that divorce that Mike Roman, the defendant, co-defendant in the Trump case, that he wants to get before the public. Mm. So this is going to be a messy, messy hearing indeed. My gosh, Ricky Kleeman with the T. That was a whole other aspect to this case that I was not expecting. Yeah, that's really interesting, Ricky. Thank you.